the mind games that the narcissist plays. They are insane. The mind games, I mean. Obviously, I have to be politically correct here. I know what you're thinking. So, the mind games that the narcissist plays. I'm gonna talk about this in the video, but I'm gonna talk about how you can win. Yes, my friends, how you win the mind games with the narcissist. Hello and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well. So in this video, guys, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to win the mind game with the narcissist. Listen, I'm not gonna just sit here and talk about all the mind games that they play because actually you, you know what they do because it's been done to you. So you know the mind games that they play, but this is more about how you win them, all right? There is a strategy to all of this. There is a strategy on how you can win this. I'm gonna talk about this in the video. It is ridiculous to think that someone who you have really cared about, someone who you've loved, someone who you had envisaged, envisaged a future with would play mind games with you because that's not really what relationships are meant to be about, playing mind games that are fruitless and get you absolutely nowhere. But oh no, no, we're talking about the narcissist here. So this is their number one ammo. This is exactly what they're going to do. So like I said earlier, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about the mind games that they play. I'm gonna talk about how you win. And you're probably thinking, uh, Anushka, just get on with it and just say actually what this is. And you know what I'm going to say to you is this. Don't stoop down to their level. Don't play mind games. You don't need to reciprocate this behaviour with more of this type of behaviour. Remove yourself. Yes. Just remove yourself. Why are you going to do the same thing that someone else is doing when you know it's just a waste of time? It's a waste of time with these people. And no, no, it doesn't mean that you're weak. It doesn't mean that you're a failure because you're, you're not going head to head with this person. Why would you want to? Why do you want to do exactly what they have done to you. It's not that you're letting them off the hook. It's not that you're, you know, not doing anything about it by staying silent and you're just taking it. No, that's not what this is about. This is about rising above this and just not playing this stupid game. Like ultimately, where is it going to get you? Momentarily, it will make you feel good because you're getting your own back. But you've got to remember that the narcissist loves this. The narcissist is waiting for this. The narcissist wants you to do this because this is what they do. This is what they have always done. This is what they will always continue to do. And so you're going to play games with someone who does this. And I'm not being horrible. I am not being horrible because you know what, guys, I am on your side here. But they will win because they have been doing this for years. And believe me, they are well versed at this. They will win. And even if you get your own back on them, even if you do better and you um, you, you step up and, and you win and you do better, they'll get you back for it. They will get you back for what you have done, for even considering to go against them. This is who they are. They're not gonna stop until they win. So how long are you gonna play this mind game for? How long are you gonna engage in this for? Is it really worth it? Is it really worth your time, your energy, your emotions that go with it? This is what I mean, the narcissist can play the long game. They don't care. They don't care because this is what their life is about. They've got nothing else to concentrate on. They've got nothing else in their life but just getting their own back, just being the way that they are. So what's the point? You have better things to be thinking about and getting on with. Your life is more precious. Okay, instead of 
thinking of the games, thinking of the things that you can do to get back at them, why don't you take that time and that energy and turn it around and think about you. Think about how you can get better. Think about what you can do to you or for you that can elevate your life, that you can level up. What is the point of playing with these people? There is no point. Let me tell you, there is no point. Okay, because this is what, this is what they want. And you are just giving them what they want. You know why? Because this is negative supply. Even though you're thinking, but yeah, like how? But you're still giving them attention. It's still sitting in your mind. It's still, you know, playing heavy on your heart. It's still having an effect on you. You need to get rid of these people. You can't have them around you. This is why they are called toxic people because that's what they do. They poison you. You know, when you're overstimulated or you're stressed, your body produces adrenaline and cortisol, the two like most deadliest or most damaging hormones when they are mixed together. And believe me, they go through your whole entire body, through your bloodstream. And when they are mixed together, it gives you this feeling, this rush. You know, you feel it in your stomach. But you know how long it takes for your body to be able to flush the adrenaline and the cortisol from, from your body? It takes a while and you, and in order for do that, you need to basically be active and drink lots of water to flush your system. It's not a cool game, is it? It's not a good thing to do. You know, that combination ages you, makes, you know, like it gives you physical ailments. Your adrenal system is over fatigued. Your nervous system overstimulated. And playing these mind games, you're just continuing that. This is the abuse that they have done before. You know, they continue to do that after when, when they have left, when they've gone. And this is the abuse that is continuing. So why play it? Why do that? Why make it really difficult for you? You know, you are important. Leave the mind games. It's not about winning. You know, the only way that you can win is moving forward and living your life the way that you want to, you being happy. This isn't about winning mind games. A narcissist can't stand it when you go no contact, when there is silence, when you ignore them. And this is why they play the mind games. This is why the smear campaign goes ahead because they want to get your attention. They want to, they want to trigger you in some way because then they still get attention from you. They still know that actually they're getting to you and that makes them really happy. So don't fall into their hands thinking that, yeah, like, oh, I can get that, I can get one back on them or I can get this, I can do that. There's no point, let them be. Let them just get on with it. Let them do what they do and that's it. Because there is no point you playing that game. You being silent, is the best solution to this. They can't stand it because they can't predict your next move. They don't know what you're gonna do next. They don't know what you're gonna say next. Silence. You don't know when someone has ever gone silent on you or not said anything and you're thinking, well, what are they thinking? What are they gonna do next? But for a narcissist, it's even more triggering because the worst thing that anyone can do to them is ignore them. That is one of their core wounds. That is one of their triggers to not be noticed, to be insignificant, to blend into the background, like you don't remember them anymore. This is really, really triggering for them. They can't stand it. So it's about you moving forward, you ignoring them, you living your own life, concentrating on you. That is the best possible outcome, you know, in this scenario. Let them do it. I know that it's really hurtful that somebody would want to do that. And you want to get answers. You want to know why someone is doing that. You want to know why, you know, you've loved this person. Like, why would you do this? Why would you want to be like that towards me? Like, I've given you everything. I've been so kind. I've, you know, I've given you so much of myself. And yet you do this. But this isn't about you trying to understand it. This isn't about you trying to come to some sort of understanding why this person has done it, because they're not gonna do that for you. They're not gonna give you that closure. The closure is, is that they are a narcissist. They are toxic. Anyone who does this in your life, you have to understand that, that 
they're not emotionally mature. It's not okay. And that's what you need to know. Like, you need to protect yourself. It's not all right for them to behave the way they have done. It's not okay to do those things. Even, you know, play these mind games. Like, who does that? Why are you playing games? Why can't you just tell me? They're not going to do that. That is not what happens. So this is really up to you, okay, to understand that this person is this way. They're not, they do it to everybody. It's not just you, they've done it to people before you, they're gonna do it to people after you. This is who they are. It is part of their personality profile. So once you understand that this can't be fixed, this cannot get any better, it is what it is. And that's what they do. So take your attention and your emotional validation and turn it around on you. Turn it around on yourself and give yourself that attention, that energy, that emotion, because you are the most important. Don't play mind games. Don't play mind games with anybody. What's the point? It doesn't mean that you are weak. It doesn't mean that you're, you know, you're letting them get away with it. What are they getting away with? triggering you, making you feel bad. This is what I mean. No point. The best way to win the game is to go no contact. They hate that. They really, really hate that. And in that time, it gives you brain space. It gives you thinking space. It gives you emotional space. All of the things that you are probably really needing at the moment. So guys, I really hope this video helps you to see this from a different way, from a different point of view. Remember, you are stronger than you think. You can and will get through this. If you are someone who is going through this at the moment, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. I also have a mentorship and a journal club. Um, please see the description box below. And I also have a Discord server, which is absolutely free to join. There is a supportive community and you can, which you can access 24 seven, guys, all the time, whenever you want. Please see the description box below. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.